Uh, so it's another time we meet for this session of uh, financial reporting and analysis. So for today, we would like to look at uh, the topic of uh, branch accounting. So that is a uh, branch. So branch accounting. So the branch accounting. So when we talk about branch accounting, remember that uh, we'll be dealing the, with the aspect of uh, a firm, adding an head office, and there's a branch, and there's a branch. So under branch accounting, I will look at uh, dependent branches, dependent branches, and we'll look at the aspect of independent branches independent independent branches so in our previous syllabus there was the aspect of foreign branches but that one was scrapped from the syllabus there is no foreign branches so for the independent and that is a dependent and the independent branches so here I will be dealing with the aspect of local independent branches, local independent branches. So I've said there's no foreign. You might come across some past papers having foreign branches, but this one was not was scrubbed from the syllabus. We don't have it in the new syllabus. There's no aspect of foreign branches. So for today, I would like to look at the independent branches, the local independent branches, because those are the ones which has a lot of work to be done. And later, we will have to look at the uh, dependent branches. So when we talk about uh, local independent branches, is whereby you find that uh, the head office and the branch are in the same geographical location. Like now, you, you could find that uh, if the head office is in Nairobi, you might find that the branch is in Nakuru or Mombasa. So all of those uh, branches are in the same country. So the head office and the branch, that is, are in the same country. So remember that the branch will be independent. The branch is independent. So it has its own management and it runs business on its own. So the only things which happen is that the head office acts as a watchdog of what happens in the branch. The head office acts as a watchdog. And be careful on this topic. Eh? Be careful on this. Be careful on what we'll be doing today. That is in relation, in relation to your exam. So, local independent branches, wherever you find the branch and the adobe is in the same geographical location. So, when we talk about a branch accounting, we need to understand why do we do branch accounting? Uh, what does it mean? I have tried to explain that. And maybe what is required? So mostly I have said for today, we'll focus on the local independent branches, the local independent branches. So there's some notes I shared uh, previous. So there's some notes I shared, which I, I would like we look at. We go through maybe in the next around 10 minutes, then uh, we go direct to the questions because that is a major. So the question is what is required uh, to be done in this topic? But you have to understand the background of the topic. So there's some notes here. There's an handout which I shared to the group, which talks about uh, these aspect of branch. So when we talk about a, a branch, obviously it's an extension of a business to a different geographical area. In order to meet customers' satisfaction, we extend the business to another area, to another geographical area. To do what? to meet customer satisfaction. So reasons stroke advantages of branch accounting, why we do branch accounting is to ensure proper control of the branches. So I have, I have said that the head office will be acting as a watchdog. So it has to make sure that there's a proper control. Number two, to safeguard the cash and the inventory of goods in the branch. Yes, the goods must be safeguarded. To compare the profitability of different branches, because the head office might be having uh, three or more branches. So it has to do the compari comparison of the profits and to evaluate the trends and the prospects of the branches. So
So we have the aspect of dependent branches and independent, but for today, we'll look at number two, independent branches, the autonomous, that is a synonym. So which I've said, we look at local independent branches. So I will go direct to independent branches. Then in our, in our maybe next session, or if time allows, we do dependent. So for now, I would be doing independent. So I have to skip dependent. That is uh, the work of another day. So let's go direct to this. Let's go direct to, so, yes. so let's look at uh, independent branches. So of which I've said there is a local independent. So for now, there's no foreign. So there's no foreign. So you need to understand local independent uh, branches. So when I talk about uh, local independent branches, so these are branches which maintain their own set of financial statements. So from the word independent, obvious, they have to do what? They have to maintain their own set of financial statements and the books of accounts. So however, the adobe is praise an oversight role. It has to oversee the operations of the branch. That is to verify the operations of the independent branch. So to verify the operations of the independent branch, the Adobe's will maintain an account known as branch current account. Similarly, the branch should maintain an account known as head of his current account. The head of his current account. So for them, for the Adobe's to oversee the operations of the branch, we have said that the Adobe's will maintain branch current account. Then the branch will maintain Adobe's current account. So these are the current accounts. These are the current accounts. What is debited, you can see profit, expenses, incurred by the Adobe's on behalf of the branch, goods sent to branch. What you credit is remittance by branch, cash in transit, branch laws, and the goods in transit. So, but you will come to understand uh, this account well once I do an illustration. For now, what you need to know is who maintains the branch current account and why it is maintained. So, the person who maintains the branch current account is called the head office, of which the balance of the branch current account represents the head office in investments in the branch the balance in the branch current account eh, represents what? Head of his investment in the branch. So when I would be preparing my statement of financial position, when I would prepare the statement of financial position, the branch current account balance will be recorded as a non-current asset. The reason being we have said that the balance of the branch current account represents what? Adobe's investment in the branch. What about the Adobe's current account? Adobe's current account will be maintained by the branch. Will be maintained by the branch. You have seen some items to be recorded on the debit and others on the credit, but again, we'll do an illustration. So how do you record the balance from the Adobe's current account? How do you record the balance? Uh, from the Adobe's current account in the books. So the Adobe's current account represents operating capital to the branch. So that is why it will be shown under the equity part eh, in the books of the branch, meaning that when I, we will be preparing the statement of financial position, this Adobe's current account balance will be recorded under equity. The reason being, it represents the, the balance in the Adobe's current account represents what? Operating capital to the branch. So obvious the balances in the Adobe's current accounts. So we have talked about that balance. So when preparing the two accounts, that is the branch current account maintained by Adobe's and the Adobe's current account maintained by the branch they should be equal and opposite to each other. So if they are not equal to each other, 
if they are not equal and opposite to each other. The reason may be is that there was some cash which was in transit. Some goods were in transit, that is from the Adobe's maybe to the branch, uh, maybe, or there was an interbranch transfer. Then there is a, an aspect of uh, unrealized profit. So who can explain what unrealized profits means from the topic of group accounting? We say that uh, unrealized profit is, who can try? From group, I have not even said from branch accounting, from group accounting, because that is a, a topic some of you, you have already covered. I can try. Yes. I would say it's the inventory, probably that has, probably inventory that has been sold to the, let's say to the subsidiary, mm -hmm. but the subsidiary have not sold uh, that, that inventory, it is still in stock. So we yes. get a margin of the stock. That's the unrealized profit. Yeah, uh, that is correct. It's based on the unsold goods. So the same way the Adobe will be transferring stock to the branch. So by the end of the year, we need to check if there's a, any stock which is unsold in the branch. Because when the Adobe was transferring these uh, goods, uh, you will find that it transferred at a profit. So if the branch never resold all of those goods, uh, out of the goods which are unsold, that is, uh, there's a profit which will be unrealized. That is the concept of unrealized profit. Uh, so we have final accounts to be prepared. So the final statements. So we, the Adobe's and the independent branch, will prepare their own independent uh, financial statements. Then uh, the Adobe's now will prepare a combined statement for the both Adobe's and the branch. So we have the income statement. This is how it looks like. You start from sales, put for the Adobe and the branch, then total. Good sent to the branch would appear only in the Adobe. Good sent to the branch, of which it will be received by the branch under the cost of sales, like a purchase. So good stored in the good stored in transit to branch, it reduces the sales of the Adobe. You get your net sales. You talk about cost of sales. You talk about cost of sales. Or with the cost of sales, you know, it's all about uh, opening stock, plus purchases, then add goods from Adobe. Huh? So you can see goods from Adobe will appear only under the branch. The same way goods sent to the branch was only under the Adobe. So the two must be equal to each other. Goods sent to the branch under Adobe. After you can see it after sales, then goods from Adobe, which is added after purchases. So the two must be equal to each other. So if they are not equal, maybe there were some goods which was which were on transit or storing. Then uh, they might be an obsolete stock or the straight goods, which has to reduce our stock. So we get the cost of goods available for sale. Cost of goods available for sale. We rest closing stock, then we get the cost of sales. So if you take your net sales minus cost of sales, you get your gross profit. You get your gross profit. Then you raise expenses. Expenses starting with if there is unrealized profit, because if there was unrealized profit in the branch, based on the goods which are unsold. It means that the Adobe had already realized that uh, amount. The Adobe had already realized the same amount. So meaning that the profit of the Adobe is overstated by what the branch never realized. That is why we need to deduct that unrealized profit. We need to deduct that unrealized profit in the profit of the Adobe based on the goods unsold by the end of, by the end of the year in the branch. Then we talk about admin expense distribution, we deduct, we get net profit. Then the branch profit must be transferred to the Adobe. Huh? Obviously, the branch profit must be transferred to the Adobe. So that uh, 
we get the retained earnings. So for the statement of financial position is something, you know, it was a, it's all about assets. And I said, when we will be recording branch current accounts, which is net of an unrealized profit, it has to appear in the head office because it represents investment. Then for the statement of financial position, you know it. Eh? And even for this uh, computation of stock, we will do an illustration here, of which I will address uh, on how you are supposed to compute for this uh, closing stock. For closing stock, on most of the scenarios, there is a workings which are done. So for the local independent branches, local independent branches, so far, there's only one question. The current question is for 2014. Maybe if you need others, I would, I would have to go to two or five there to do the others. But the current question for local independent branches was last tested on the year 2014. So the one they tested the other time, that is 2018, before they changed the syllabus, was foreign uh, branches. But now foreign is not there. So let's look at that uh, illustration for 2014 so that we see on how you are supposed to do the local independent branches. So let's look at that question. So this is the question for May 2014, question three. So they say that Moshi Enterprises commenced business on 1st April 2013. The head office of the firm is in Nairobi uh, with a branch in Mombasa. The branch is managed by a salary manager. Moshi Enterprises acquires store products of plastic toys and packages them according to customer orders. The packaging is a feature of the firm's marketing strategy and the cost 10% of the cost price of the toys. The toys are here thereafter sold at a profit of 12% uh, of the selling price. Packaged toys are sent to Mombasa branch at a selling price, less 6%. The foreign trial balance was extracted by the firm as of 31st March 2014. So you can see we have the trial balance for the head office and who? And the branch for the head office and the branch. Additional information, number one, packaged goods whose selling price to public was uh, shilling 30,809 were dispatched by the head office to Mombasa branch on 28 March, 2014, and were received on 5th April, 2014. So if you can check the period when your financial year is ending, the year is ending that first March 2014. But you know, to one they are saying that these goods whose selling price to the public was 30,809 shillings, which were dispatched by the Adobe's to Mombasa branch on 28 March 2014. And were received on 5th April 2014. That is uh, after five days. Uh, that is our financial year ends on that first March. So these goods were received after five days after the year after the end of the year. So meaning that uh, by the end of the year, those goods were in transit. So additional information number one, we have goods in transit. Additional information number two, they say Mombasa branch had sent cash amounting to 50,000 to the Adovis on, that, on 30th March, 2014. Was the cash received by the end of the year? So they said the cash was not received until 6th April, 2014. And there is 6th April 2014. Until 6th April 2014. What does that one show? Cash in transit. Cash in transit. So that is cash in transit. So that is cash in transit. There's a, a student who is requesting this past paper. Someone can, can share, can reshare again the BDF to the group. Someone to share the BDF to the group. So number three, an annual stock take 
on the first March 2014, refilled the following. So toys which cost the Adobe's 10,000 were considered obsolete. Packaging materials at the Adobe's, which cost 5,000 were spoiled. The Mombasa branch stock tech refilled a stock shortage of 13,000. Being the invoice price by the Adobe's to the branch. Number four, provisions for provision is, is to be made for a bonus to the Mombasa branch manager at the net profit after the bonus. The number five, fixtures are to be depreciated at 20% per annum on a straight line basis. On a straight line basis. So what they need is all about uh, Sorry for the interruption. So, so what the examiner needs us to do is all about uh, the income statement. Then we do the statement of financial position. So the Adobe, the Adobe is supposed to do that. So which we said the Adobe, is, Adobe is will do its own statement. Then uh, the branch will do it, its own statement. By the end of the year, the branch will have to prepare a combined statement. Branch will have to prepare a combined. From the income statement, then we look at this. So let's do that. So let's start from.
So we can continue, guys. So let's look at the income statement. So I think you have the past papers now. <coughs> So make sure that you mute your mic. Is someone who is unmuted here? All right, so for you to start with the income statement, uh, first you have to understand about the aspect of the profits, how they were making the transfer. Who was making the transfer? The Adobe's to the branch. And at the same time, how they were making sales to third parties. How they were making sales to third parties. I've said everybody to be muted. So I am muting. Some of you are unmuting. For what reason? So never do that. So the first thing uh, we are supposed to check is all about uh, these aspects of uh, transfer in terms of uh, profits. So how they were making sales to third parties. So that, is, that is both the Adobe's and the branch. And how the Adobe's was transferring the goods to the branch. How the Adobe's was transferring goods to the branch. So looking at this question of ours, if you look at uh, the start of this uh, question, this second paragraph, they said most enterprises acquires job roads of plastic toys and they package them according to customer orders. The packaging is a feature of the firm's marketing strategy and the cost 10% of the cost price of the toys. So that is just marketing strategy. We are concerned about uh, the transfer and the sales to third parties, how the Adobe transfers the goods to the branch and how both the Adobe and the branch make sales. So, they said in the last sentence, in that paragraph too, the toys are therefore sold at a profit of 12% of the selling price. Package toys are sent to Mombasa branch at a selling price less 6%. So when they are making sales, they, they, they are making sales at a, a profit of 12% of the selling price, 12% of the selling price. So when they are making their sales is 12%, of selling price, 12% of selling price. So meaning that this is the profit. This is the profit, 12% of the selling price. So if, if my profit is at 12%, and obvious when they talk about selling price, you will maintain your selling price at 100%. Your selling price will be at 100%. So the profit is 12, 12% of the selling price. So meaning that my cost will be, so the cost of the goods will be, so 100 minus 12 is 88%. Uh, Adobe's, Adobe's transfer to branch. Adobe's transfer to branch. So the Adobe's was transferring the, goods to the branch at 6%, 6% less selling price. That is what they say. 6%, you less the selling price. This, this is a sentence here. They say, package toys are there for sent to Mombasa branch at a selling price less 6%. At a selling price raise six percent. So meaning that if I say that the selling price is to be maintained at hundred percent, and they, they have said they transfer at six percent less selling price. Uh, so my six percent is the profit, but now this total selling price will be at ninety four percent because it's six percent less the selling price. So 100 minus 6, 100 minus the 6. 100 minus the 6. So that is 94. Meaning that the cost will be 
94 minus 6 is, it will remain to be 88%. So those are the first profits uh, to analyze. Then now we can be able to say Moshi Enterprises, Moshi Enterprises, the first thing which is required is all about income statement. So income statement. So the income statement for the year, For the year the 31st March 2014. So here we talk about uh, Adovis. Branch. Then we have the aspect of combined. So we start from sales. So the sales, the sales you can check from the trial balance, 2.8 and 1.5. So if you add the two, you get 43. Then I said next, you check goods sent to branch. So this one would appear only in the Adobe's, goods sent to the branch. You get 4380. 40, 80. Where is 80 coming from? Is someone who is giving us a 4380? No, it's 43 because see, it's all about 2800 plus 1500. So I've even picked my calculator, so it's 43. So goods sent to the branch. So the goods which were sent to the branch and the goods from Adobe's, they are supposed to be the same, by the way. Goods sent to the branch and the goods from Adobe's. So these are goods sent to the branch and the goods from Adobe's. They are supposed to be the same, that is, they are supposed to be equal. So if you take in your question, are they equal? Are they equal? So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm trying to talk about. You see here, under this trial balance, this good sent to the branch. But what was received is this. So 1598, 1598,000. Then what was received is 1569,040. So there's a difference of, but obvious when recording goods sent to the branch, you just record the 1598. It's only that I want to prove something for you. Why, why, why there's a difference? There's a difference of? There's a difference of? You don't have calculator, students. 28,960. You have said, pardon? 28,960. 28960. So I say it may be here, there must be cash in transit, or not cash in transit, goods in transit. If you take note one, you are told that packaged goods were selling price to the public. Some goods which were sold to the public eh? of uh, 30809, eh? they were being dispatched from Mombasa. They were being dispatched uh, from so they were being dispatched to Mombasa branch, not from. They were being dispatched by Edovis to Mombasa branch. So these are goods which were being sold to the public. And we make sales at what? 100%. So we always make sales at 100%. But these goods are being dispatched by Edovis to the branch. 
So when dispatching this good to the branch, we are supposed to dispatch at 94. Head of is transfer to branch. So we need to know the 94% of this. So 94 times 30, 8 or 9, divide 100%. So divide the 100. What are you getting? 28960.46. 20, 28, 28, 28, the same. So meaning that they, they are just talking about the goods which were being in transit. Remember, these were goods in transit. Anyway, that was just a proof. So here we have net sales. So the net sales, use your calculators. So we have 15. Here is 43. Twenty eight hundred plus fifteen ninety eight. This is forty three ninety eight. Eh? So that is sales. So this one I can call it A. I close that. We talk about cost of sales. So opening. Stock, you know, opening stock is same as uh, inventory. Do we have opening inventory stock? Stock at the start of the year, first April 2013. Do you have any stock as at that time? Nothing, nothing, nothing. What they did, they purchased. So purchases. They did a purchase of uh, toys and packaging materials, eh? and only at the Adobe's. The sales which was there was uh, at the end of this. Not the sales, but the purchases, sorry, this one. So the total of the, of the two, so that is 4,440,000. 4,440,000. So 4,440,000. There's no purchase in the branch. So we take it to the total. Then we talk about goods from Adovis. Goods from Adovis. Eh? So the goods from Adovis now they will be received under the branch. So the 1569.040. So opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. But before we talk about closing stock, if they if you can check in the additional information. There was a, a stock tech which was carried out, not the three, which uh, revealed that there was a, something which was happening. So this is the Dovis, this is the branch, Dovis branch combined. We have the Dovis, the branch, and we have the combined. So due to the stock tech which was carried out, eh? due to a stock tech which was carried out, toys which cost the Adobe 10,000 were considered obsolete. They were considered obsolete. There's someone who has a question. Eh? If all, there's, there's something you are not seeing. Everything is visible. What you do, maximize your screen from the your end. So here, we talk about the obsolete. Obsolete, there were some goods which were obsolete. Under the Adobe, that is. Toys which cost the Adobe is 10,000 cost. And what you need to understand is that, uh, what I never mentioned, 
when uh, doing the Adobe's, these uh, transactions, these figures under the Adobe's, they are at cost. For the branch, it's at cost plus the profit. Cost plus profit. Then for the combined is at cost. Those figures are at cost. For the branch is at cost plus profit. For the Adobe, it's at cost. So we have the obsolete, uh, which are at cost, and it's under the Adobe, which is okay. So we Excuse take me? Yes. I am not understanding how you reached at this 1569 down here. It's after purchasing. This is a good what? from Adobe. Oh, it's from not the... visible. Sorry? Okay. It's not visible. Visible. If this you expand the screen, you can't see. Is there anybody who's having the same challenge? So that is why it's feasible because I understand that maybe that student, what you do, uh, max, maximize your screen of the gadget you are using so that maybe if there's a challenge from my end. So I think Mohammed is assisting you. You can see on the chat. The fifteen sixty nine is this one. Fifteen sixty nine zero forty. These are goods sent to the branch. Fifteen ninety eight. So the one which were received under the branch goods from Adobe is fifteen sixty nine zero forty. That is why I went ahead to confirm that there is a difference of twenty eight nine sixteen. Why? Because there were some goods which were in transit. So we have recorded the obsolete, uh, that is okay. Then there was uh, some goods which were spoiled again under the Adobe, that is according to note three, 5,000. Then the same note three, they said Mombasa branch stock tech refilled a stock shortage. There was a stock shortage under Mombasa branch. So stock shortage, it will reduce our goods. Eh? So the goods we have, if there's a shortage, so the shortage, they are saying that uh, the Mombasa branch stock tech refill a stock shortage of 13 being, so the 13, which is a stock shortage, is an invoice, being the invoice price. Eh? invoice price being an invoice price by the Adobe to the branch Adobe to branch invoice price by Adobe to branch so invoice price is all about cost plus profit the cost plus the profit meaning that we have to record that team but I said for the Remember that for the Adobe it's at cost. This one is cost plus profit. Then this one must be at cost. So since they are very specific that this 13 is at invoice price, so we cannot record the same under the combined, but we need to change this figure so that it reflects a cost. Because this is a cost plus profit. Because they said it's being an invoice price. Eh? The 13 was being invoice price by Adobe to branch. So meaning that these goods were sent to the branch at 94. These percentages are very important. When the Adobe was making any transfer to the branch, it transferred at, at 94%. So meaning that the 13 is at 94. So we need the cost. So this is the cost. So this is cost plus profit. So these are the costs. These are the profits, eh? selling price. So 94. So we need, we need what? Cost, 88%. We 
we need that. So if you take uh, 88, it's all about close multiplication, times 13, you divide 94. What are you getting? 12,170. 12,170. That is what you record there. Remember all of these are deducted because these are something which we are reducing our goods. So is there anything to record again? So up to that point, uh, we can have cost of goods available for sale. Cost of goods available for sale. So once we have that, then I will come and compute for the closing stock. And once we get the closing stock, we deduct, we get the cost of sales. So our cost of sales will be B. I will have to close this. And now to get the gross profit, I would have to take the net sales, which is A, minus this, B. So give me the figures there. Use your calculators, uh, use your phones. If you are using your phone as a calculator, but that is not a good picture. If you are going to do an exam in two weeks time, you need to be having a calculator. So this is, I'm getting 44,000, 1569,040, So this is 1556, eh? 040. Then what about under combined? Forty four, twelve, eh? eight hundred and thirty. So let's, let's compute for the closing stock. Let's do the closing stock. I will be doing one by one. That is starting from the head office. We do branch and we finish with the combined. So how can I get the cost of sales? Not cost of sales, sorry. Closing stock, that is. How can I get the closing stock? This is a question. Student, how can I get the closing stock? Can I try? Yes, uh, Frederick. Yes, so what we do, mm. we write down the formula of getting cost of sales, mm -hmm. which is equal to opening stock mm -hmm. plus S mm -hmm. uh, minus closing stock. And yes. we we make, make now, we, we, are, we rearrange it by making everything the subject, we get the formula for now for getting closing stock. Uh, so that is the case, that is correct. So what we are supposed to do is what uh, Frederick has said, that uh, we say that cost of sales is equals to opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. So we make closing yes. stock subject of the formula, meaning that Cost of sales will be opening stock plus purchases minus cost of sales. And so that is what we do. So Adobe's, 
So for the Adovis, opening stock, Open, we don't have opening stock. Well, this is what I will be copying from this statement. For the purchases, I said there was purchases of choice and the packaging materials. So what, that is what uh, gave us the 4,440,000. Then there's obsolete, which must reduce our, our stock. So we have the obsolete, goods which were obsolete. We have a spoiled 5,000. And at the same time, there was goods sent to branch. So when goods are sent to the branch, the goods of 1598, eh? the goods of 1598, they are sent at what? 94%. The transfer to branch at 94. But under Adobe's, remember it's maintained at cost. Adobe's is maintained at cost, meaning that the cost is 88%. The cost is 88%. So we need to know what about 88%. So if you cross multiply, what do you have? At 94. 1496,000. Uh, so that is 1496,000. Then for the cost of sales to be deducted, we talk about, we use sales. Use the sales. So the sales is 2.8. So yeah, we use sales. So sales is 2.8, of which we know that sales is at 100%. So we need 88% costs. We need the cost, we need the cost. Ah, yeah. So we continue. So 88 times 2.8 divided by 100. Thank what are you getting? 2,464,000. 2, 2, so this one, remember that you deduct. Eh? This one is deducted. So if that one is deducted, so what do you have? So the answer? So all of these remember that you deduct. So this is 400 words for 65,000. So that is what you record here. So the 465,000. So if you take your 4425 minus answer, this is 3960. So let's compute for the branch. Let's compute for the branch. So I think I can clear this. So for the branch, so remember that this was the Adobe's, this was Adobe's. Now we talk about the branch. So branch is maintained at cost plus profit. Goods are transferred to the branch. Goods are transferred to the branch at 94%. So 
So there was no opening stock purchases, purchases. We don't have purchases. So the only purchase I would record here is goods from Adovis, which is 1569, 040, this one. Then there was a stock shortage in the branch. Stock shortage, 13,000. Then we raise what? Cost of sales. So we check sales. Sales is 1.5. So 1.5, sales is made at 100%. So what about, we need 94%. So 94 times 1.5, you divide 100. This is 1,410,000. So if you deduct from 1569.040, so 1569.040 minus 13,000, Minus fourteen ten thousand. So I'm getting one forty six zero forty. So this one you deduct. So fifteen fifty six zero forty minus the answer. So this is fourteen ten. Eh? It is fourteen ten. So fifteen fifty six zero forty minus one forty six zero forty. So this is 1410. Then uh, we compute for the combined. We do the combined. Volume weight, Kidogo. That is fine. So you can take the notes. I'm assuming that you are done. You are done with the taking notes. Huh? So we do for the combined. So combined would be maintained at cost. So cost, our cost is just eight eight percent. So that is combined. Combined is at cost, which is 88%. So we talk about uh, opening stock. Combined, we don't have opening stock. Purchases, we have the 4 million. Or what we can do under the combined, it can be easier if I do this. Eh? Instead of doing all this, what I will do here under combined is this. Eh? Remember that already we have a Dovis. A Dovis is uh, 465. This one can be easier. 465. Eh? Branch. Branch is at 146, but you know that 146,040 branch is maintained at 94%. Uh, that is how goods are transferred to the branch. But here we need what? 88%. So if you close multiply, what do you have here? 
if you do a close multiplication, 88 times 146, 040. So, so there's someone who's saying 136, 718. So 136, 718. Then another thing to appear here is the aspect of uh, the goods which were in transit. Eh? Now they have to appear in the combine. You know that according to additional information number one, eh? There, there's those goods which were being sold to the public, and now they were dispatched by the head office to the branch, but they were received some few days after the end of the year. So meaning that uh, the branch has not recorded them. So where are they supposed to be recorded? Under the combine. So we already determined the relevant figures for that. So goods in transit, so we said the 3809 is being sold to the public. So that is why we stated at 100%, because sales, sales to the third parties is at 100%. So we looked for what? We tried looking for 94. We, we looked for the 94. Eh? What if I look for the 88% direct? So 88% of a... Uh, 88 times uh, 3809 divide 100. Yes, I will look for the 88 now, direct, because I need, not at 94, but I need at 88, the cost. 27 triple one. So 0.92, eh? I, I can say, if I, yes, I, yes, if I, I round off, I would say two, 27, one, one, two. So the total? Four sixty five thousand plus one thirty six seven eighteen plus you are getting six twenty eight eight hundred and thirty. Six twenty-eight, eight hundred and thirty. So if you deduct that from uh, four million four hundred twelve thousand eight hundred and thirty, four million four hundred twelve, eight hundred and thirty. Deduct that one. Deduct six twenty-eight, eight thirty. So this is thirty-seven, eighty-four thousand. So now. Take your net sales minus the cost of sales so that we get the gross profit. 43.98 minus 39.60. So this one is 438,000. What about for the branch? If you take your 1.5 million, you minus 1,410,000, 90,000. Combined, 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 4.3 minus 37,84,000. Is that okay? So before I deduct the normal expenses which are there, the expenses which are which the business was incurring, there's obvious one thing I have to compute. There's obvious one thing I need to compute. So that is checking for the checking for the unrealized profit. So it can be a realized profit or unrealized profit. It can be realized or unrealized. So let's check for that. Then after we know if it's unrealized or realized, then again, we deduct the business. Uh, we deduct the business expenses.
Aye. So let's check for the unrealized. This is just a working I'm doing. So unrealized profit. So this is based on a closing stock of the branch. Because if we can look at this, there is a 146.040. This closing stock in the branch, these, these are the goods which were received from the Adovis. And obviously, when they were being received from the Adovis, they were received at 94%. That is plus a profit of 6%. That is when the Adovis was transferring those goods to the branch. So, but these goods of 146.040 are unsold by the end of the year. So we need to do what? To check the unrealized profit inside the 146.040. So that unrealized profit was already realized by the Adovis. So meaning that the profit of the Adovis is overstated. So we know that this 146.040 is stated at 94. So I need the profits. I can go direct and say 6%. So I need 6%. Instead of uh, doing a lot of uh, workings, you can check for 6%. So we have 93.22. So this is the profit which is unrealized. Then again, we check the unrealized profit or under, under the goods in transit. Remember, these goods were never even received by who? By the branch. They were received, yes, but after the end of the year. So meaning that they were never resold by the branch by the end of the year because they were never even received by the end of the year. They were received some few days after the end of the year. So we need to know again the profit which is inside the Goods of 38 or 9, which I said they are stated at 100. But we know that these are goods who are being transferred to the branch at 94. We have equated them at 100% because they say these goods were being sold to the public. Any goods sold to the public is at 100%. Then they were dispatched by the head office to the branch, meaning that I need to know the variant which they were being dispatched. So we arrived at 28,960. But now yes. this, is, this is at 94. So what about 6% of this? The profit. Six times 28,960. You divide 94. 18, 48. 18, 48. Eh? So if you add with 93, 22. So 11,171. 11, 170. So this is 170. So this is the profit which was done what? This is the profit which was uh, realized by the Adobe's, but not by the branch, because the branch has not resolved all of those goods, meaning that the profit of the Adobe's, this profit is overstated by this. So we need to raise that. So we need to deduct. So this one is deducted only under the Adobe's. Because you understand why. So after that, now we can deduct expenses.
So other expenses to be deducted here. So deduct other expenses. So we can even start from less other expenses. So what we do, is there any expense in the additional information? Then we embark on the trial balance. This note five, yes. fixtures, fixture depreciation. Eh? On fixtures, so at 20%. Eh? So fixtures is the trial balance. It's both in the Adobe's and the branch or under the Adobe's only. Fixtures in Nairobi, Adobe is only 160. So that is 32,000. Eh? It's 32,000. So there's no another expense and additional information. So there's other expenses. These obsolete, the stock tech. Remember that. Even if they are reducing your stock, they are a cost. They are a cost to the company. So we have 10. Spoiled. That is 5,000. Then we have stock shortage. So stock shortage, it was under the branch 13. So 13, that is 12, 170. So is, is there another expense I have not recorded? There is an expense I have not recorded. from the trial balance, eh? they call it expenses. So we have the one in the trial balance, 400, 400,000 and 40,000. So that is for 40,000. So here we have a profit of, we have a net profit of 42. I have a question. Yes. If you go to additional information number four, mm. there is a provision for a bonus. That one will come after the profit. So they are doing what? They are paying what? They're paying the Mombasa branch manager. Of the net a, or a okay. bonus, eh? a bonus is paid out of what? A bonus is paid out of profit. Eh? Yes. Yeah, so that one would come after we are done with the deduction of expenses. And there's someone who was asking about uh, why am I deducting spoil? Or your question was? There's someone who is texting in the chat. Eh? You can unmute and ask your question. I have a question to Malim. Mm. Why are we deducting? Why are we deducting the spoiled goods and the obsolete goods, both in cost of sales and the expenses? Remember that under the cost of sales, uh, they reduce your stock. Eh? Mm. See, it's a stock check which was taken. Eh? It was done, mm -hmm. and you feel that there was an obsolete, there was a spoiled, and there was a shortage. Eh? Mm -hmm. So is that obvious? The, the, your stock will reduce. Eh? Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yeah. If if you do a stock a stock take today, and this happens, so this one will reduce what you have in your stock. Is that a benefit to you or a cost? It's a cost. cost. That, that is why, again, I'm deducting. Because these are expenses. They are reducing your stock, okay. and at the same time, they are a cost. So, 
Okay. Whoever has the net profit, you can give me the figures. So for that eight thousand. Malimu is in that double, doing double, because uh, if you reach at your at your gross profit already, you have catered for this uh, spoiled and obsolete. Again, you're coming to less from the expenses. I think it's double. It's not the double. It's not the double. Because that what we have done, they have reduced the way I've explained. They have just reduced the stock. It's not that uh, there is no double work we have done here. The aspect of double entry. Malimo, I also have issue with that. Eh? Mm. Uh, me your cross profit. It's already less the the loss in stock, which is as a result of stock shrinkage or spoiled or obsolete. Now, when we have a gross profit, it means you have already accounted for the loss as a result of the stock. So if we do again on the expenses, that's going to be double again. I don't think so. I don't think so. So uh, the way just have, uh, the, the, uh, on my analysis, and at the same time, they will prove at the end, that uh, the way I've said is that they are reducing your stock and at the same time there are costs. Simple like that, of which I will prove at the end that uh, what I've done here is correct. Well, if you mean they are reducing my stock, that means they'll hit my balance sheet and the cost will hit my PNL. But in this case, you're hitting PNL twice. Sorry? If you say they are reducing my stock, that means it has to affect my balance sheet, the stock. Yes, of which and... when, when I will be recording spoiled, when I when I will be when I will be doing what? When I will be doing my current accounts, they have to affect again the balance sheet. They would have they would have to appear in the in the current accounts. Yes. Kindly explain about the double entry you talked about, about the spoiled in closing stocks in the gross profit and the expenses. So what do you do with the, what, what, are you, what, what do, you, do you do with the stock? Stocks are debited. Eh? So if there's a reduction in stock, you do what? You credit. credit. Eh? The next expenses, you do mm -hmm. what? You debit. Increase in expenses, it's debited. When you are talking about the cost expenses. of sales, cost of sales and uh, the inventory. Inventory stock, reduction in yes. stock is credited. Increase in expenses is debited. So I have increased yeah, my yeah, expenses. But, yeah, the I account you are debiting here is cost of sales, India. The debiting I'm talking about, this one. This is it's affecting yes. stock. When it's affecting stock by reducing your stock, what are you supposed to do? So it's a credit. Stock account. Eh? When your expenses increases, what are you supposed to do? So you debit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what is the net profit? Net profit for the Adobe's. So th this is a, a loss. Eh? So net profit or loss. So that is a 20, 170. For the branch. So I can see someone is saying 36, 33, 636. Then for the combined.
for the combined this so that is a 13 466 then uh, now the thing you were talking about the aspect of uh, that provision is made for a bonus to Mombasa branch manager 10% at 10% so bonus payable so it's paid only to the Mombasa branch manager so based on this so when they said after the bonus net profit after the bonus net profit after the bonus meaning that this one they, they are going to pay at 10 percent eh? so meaning that this is at 110 so give me the 10 so say 10 divide 110 times 33 636 so what is the 10 percent What are we getting? What are we getting as the bonus? Even this one is wrong. This one, this one here is wrong. So someone who gave me this answer is wrong. This is thirty-seven thousand. Because if you take ninety minus the two, I'm seeing it's thirty-seven. So use thirty-seven here. So 10, 10 divided by 110 times 37,000. So 3364. So 3364. So if you minus this, so this is now after the bonus. So the net profit after the bonus. So we have a loss here. Only with that amount of 13,466, is it correct? Let me confirm. It's correct. Uh, that is fine. It's not 16,830. So remember that this one, even this one is deducted, the 12. Sixteen eight thirty. This one is sixteen eight hundred and thirty. So minus thirty three sixty four. This is thirteen four six six. Thirty seven thousand minus thirty three sixty four. This is thirty three. 
636. Then we have to transfer the branch profit to the Adovis. Transfer branch profit to Adovis. So transfer this profit. Transfer the profit. So we deduct here. We get the nil. We add under Adovis. So here is 13, 466. So if you add the 33, 636 to a loss of 2170, you are getting 13, 466. 466. Uh, so that is a retained profit. Eh? Is there a retained profit to be added here from the previous year or at the, as at the start of the current year, which is obvious from the previous year? And there's nothing. Eh? So meaning that uh, that is what you are required to do for the income statement. So let's do the statement of financial position. So for the statement of financial position, it can't take a lot of time. So yeah, we say Moshi Enterprises. So we need a statement of financial position. Eh? As at what? So my question, that is 31st March, 2014. So we have a Dovis. We have the branch, and we talk about combined. So we start from non-current assets. So for the non-current assets, we say, these assets here, I can see we have fixtures in Nairobi. So fixtures in Nairobi, we were having 160,000. Eh? I can see it here. Then it's depreciated by 32,000. So 160 minus 32. This is 128. Eh? Then I said we have to record the branch current account under Adovis, net of unrealized profit. Branch current account. So this one will be done later. So we skip. Then current assets, inventory. The closing inventory was 465,146,040, 628, 80 times. Then, is there receivables? Is there cash? Do we have items of that kind? 
Yes, we have bank balance. So we have uh, we have data trade receivables. The trade receivables is two eighty and one fifty. So if you add the two, 280 plus 150 is 430,000. Yes. Then we have seen this bank balance. One fifty eight plus uh, 62. One fifty eight plus sixty two to twenty thousand. So then there is cash in transit. So let's let's record goods in transit. Not one. And there is a cash in transit. So the goods who are heading to the branch, eh? that is what you were told in not one. 28960. So they were going to the branch. I will not record under the under the combined because they are already included under the stock, under the closing stock. Remember that if I convert this to, remember that this one was 38 or 9, which was at 100%. Eh? We converted this to 94. Because they were being dispatched by the head office to the branch at 94. That is what gave us 28,960. Then uh, what is, uh, we were looking for the cost. So we, we looked for the cost, it was 12 something, 88%. Eh? And when I was doing this, I included that inside there. So, cash in transit, it was heading to the Dovis. Eh? That is a note uh, two, Mombasa branch sent a cash amount into 50,000 to a Dovis. This one we have to record here. So up to that point, we have total assets. Then capital and liabilities. So we have the capital under the Adovis, under the Adovis, one million. Obviously, the capital was being pumped into the business by the head office. That is why it's only under the head office. Then profit. So the bottom line there, we have 13, 466. Was there drawings? There was no drawings to reduce. So the only thing to record here is say the, which acts as a capital of the novice in the branch is what? It's the balance which is under the head of his current account, which is maintained by the branch. Head of his current account. So we have to record it here. I will show you on how we arrive at that. Is there long-term liabilities? We talk about current liabilities. So current liabilities, we have things like creditors, balances, the payables. So trade payables. We have 400,000 and 40,000. So this is 440,000. Eh? So 
So what can I record here again as a current liability? The bonus, which was supposed to be paid to the Mombasa branch manager, the bonus payable. Bonus. So they were paying the bonus at 10%. So that is 3364. So total capital and liabilities. So remember that uh, we can be able to balance this eh? without uh, any struggle. So right now for the combined, there's nothing which is missing. We can we can get uh, the balancing figure for the combined. So if you add the assets for the column of combined, what are you getting? So is this fourteen fifty six? 830. You don't have calculators, guys. So what about for the capital and liabilities? So it's the same. Eh? So fourteen fifty six. Eight that. So let's do for the branch. For the branch, you can see here for the assets, there is nothing which is missing. We have one forty six zero forty plus one fifty thousand plus sixty two thousand plus twenty eight nine sixty. So this is three hundred eighty seven thousand. Eh? So this is the same you put here. So what is missing? So the difference, if you take your 387 minus the two, that is minus 40,000 minus 3364. I can be able to say that this is 343, 636. So this head of his current account, and the branch current account. The Adobe's current account and the branch current account. They are supposed to be the same and opposite to each other. But for the branch current account, which is maintained by the Adobe's, we have to net the unrealized profit because there was that profit which was overstated, which was overstated in the Adobe's. The eleven one seventy minus eleven one seventy. There was that uh, profit based on the closing stock of the of the branch and goods in transit. So if I minus eleven one seventy, so this one will be three thirty two. Four what? Four sixty six. So if I add now to balance, I think it will balance 128,000 plus 332, 466 plus 465,000 plus 280,000 plus 158,000 plus 50,000. So I'm getting here 14, 13, 466. So the same, you can see it's balancing through the figures provided there. It's a clear indication that it will balance. So yes, it's okay. So it's balancing. 
very satisfactory. And this is obviously the happiest moment for any accountant. Eh? So, this is how you are supposed to do local independent branches. Eh? And for the wrong period, this is the only question which has been tested so far. There's no another question, by the way, for local independent branches other than this. There is no another question for local independent branches. Maybe to Angaria 205, Uko Nyuma. So meaning that uh, if the CASNET decides to surprise you, they might surprise you by repeating the same question. And you never know. So, and branch, most likely branch might be like some. So I want to do current accounts. Eh? I, I approve these. Eh? These are scenarios you can do a working to arrive at these figures. So the current accounts. Eh? So Adobe maintains which account? Adobe maintains branch current account. Then the branch maintains the head of his current account. So let's uh, let me show you what you are required to do here. So looking at the head of his current account, which is maintained by the branch, branch of his current account, which is maintained by the head of his. So remember that these are, this is a trial balance. Eh? It does a debit, it does a debit, it does a credit. Eh? Debit, credit. So we start with the branch current account, which is on the debit side. So meaning that my balance brought down under the branch current account will be on the debit because it's not here. It's on the debit side. The same way for the head of his current account under the branch, it's not on the debit, but on the credit. Eh? That is how you know that those balances are supposed to appear which side. Are you supposed to start with debit or credits? So this one, 360,000. Eh? And this one, Balance brought down of 200 volts. My ad copy is not that uh, well visible. So let's look at the software one. 281040. 281040. 281040. There was good, this transfer of profit. Profit was? So you, you, you credit here, you debit here. So the profit which was transferred to the, the profit which was transferred to the Adobe's, from your income statement, the profit was? 13 for 66. The profit, not, not the net profit, the one which was transferred from the branch to the Adobe's. 36, Then you talk about uh, goods in transit. So goods which were in transit were recorded by debiting. They were heading to where first? They were, head, they were heading to the branch. 
and the branch maintains head of his current account. So here what we did, we added to stock by debiting. What am I supposed to do here? I credit. That is 28960. Cash in transit was added to the Adobe's. We increased our cash. We debited cash. So what are, so this one was adding to the Adobe's. So Adobe's maintains which account? Branch current account. So meaning that it increased our cash by debiting. What am I supposed to do here? Credit. Uh, that's all, that's all. Give me the balance carry down. So this is uh, 360 plus 33, 636. This is 393, 636. Minus 50,000. This is 343. 343, 636. The total for the Adobe's current account on the credit side, 281,040. Plus 33, 636. Plus 28,960. 343, 636. So 343, 636. So here we have 343, 636. So you can see this is what we have. This is what we have. It's only that here we have two nets and realize the profit. That is how you do local independent branches so when we meet in our next session because uh, uh, from for that i have a class for advanced financial reporting so i cannot do another question so when we meet uh, during the week i i will look at uh, an, a, a different question for branch that is a uh, dependent branches eh? so what i would request that uh, the notes you familiarize, you familiarize yourself with the aspects of debits and the credits. The, the first part of that uh, note is those debits and the credits which are there. So for you to do the aspect of dependent branches, the dependent one, eh? for you to do this part of a uh, dependent branches, you have to understand debits and credits, how you debit this account, how you debit this. So I'm talking about this. Eh? So like now the Adobe should maintain the following books in order to check the operations of the dependent branch. Branch inventory account. Good sent to the branch. Branch markup account, branch receivables. So the, the accounting entries, so the accounting entries which are supposed to be done, all of those accounting entries are supposed to be carried out. Even these illustrations here, you can check before we meet again. Have a nice time, guys. I think we are doing well. And by the end, by the end of the two weeks from now, I think you will be well prepared to do an exam. Already I know you are in a good position of passing. Most of you are in a good position of making it in that exam. It's not all about a 100% score. They need only 50, but they have higher. Then you will run at 60, there are 70. You, in, in the current financial reporting, you need around three topics to pass. Group accounting published financial analysis. 
those are the areas by there you need ah, for you to pass you need those three areas so it's very easy to predict there's no even prediction that is what happens in the exam so if they test group accounting they test published and financial analysis they will just have to add one question maybe for brand or for conversion of a partnership then plus a theory question to make it 100 percent all right have a nice time uh, we meet next time any question malim i would also need to ask mm. how, how do i tackle the the question on on independent branches is it that is what we have done independent independent branches roco independent or dependent this is yeah dependent the non-autonomous see that that one that is what i have even explained some few minutes ago that it's all about okay. preparations of accounts all right we'll do a question next time okay okay but you need to understand that which accounts are prepared mm -hmm. and how does they do the double entries eh, for those accounts? Okay, okay. As maybe you had the lesson, maybe next time mm. you can also repeat how we do this uh, current accounts, both for head office and uh, branch. Like now here? Yes. The balance brought down based on what you have from the trial balance. For me to know it's debit or credit, it's just the guidance from that trial balance. You increase your accounts by the profit which they were transferred, which the branch was transferring to the head office. So, so maybe, maybe, so it means that from the trial balance, if the balance is on the debit side, then you credit on the account they side. Eh? You debit if it's debit, you debit. See, we, we, this was this one was on the debit of this so brand. You so you debit. Yes, okay. if it's on the so you debit. This one was on credit, we credit. Okay. Then the other balances are just from the additional information and generally from the question. Okay. Right. One last question, maybe. Oh, yeah. uh, have a nice time. Have a nice weekend. Anyway, it's a nice week ahead, not even weekend. Mm -hmm.